Welcome back to another segment of Coaching in the Bigs. Today we got Mike Russell here with us. Mike's a, a longtime veteran pro that retired, I think, 2015. So it's, was it 17 years you played on tour? Yeah, 17. One of the things I wanted to ask you about in your transition from coaching, uh, from playing to coaching, how, how do you get that message across, kind of the relentless competitiveness? Well, I, communication is, is such a huge factor when you're dealing with, with players because every player is, is unique and there's no one size fits all approach. So, you know, I just want them to know every time they step on court that, you know, they have to take control of the things that they have control over. You know, right now you're coaching Ryan Harrison. Ryan's a feisty, competitive guy, and I'm sure you love that, as we all do. Sometimes, though, his emotions can, can oh, kind of overwhelm what's happening on the court. Do you guys actually talk about being passionate but not overwhelmed by how you're, by how you're playing emotionally? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, his competitive spirit is amazing, but you don't want to get so into the match that it, you know, if you get aggravated, that it can take you away from your game plan or your your mental, you know, the, the thought process going in. So yeah, it's something definitely we talk about, and I think you know he's done a great job so far working on that. And one of the things that amazes me is how players react to adversity. You know, what do they do on their average days? Do you talk about like average days and adversity and how to deal with that with the players? Yes, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's a huge thing. You know, in tennis, there's very few things that we can control, and so learning how to deal with with that adversity and when you know you have those difficulties you know you have to be stronger mentally and be able to overcome those things and that's what makes a great player you know you you, you stopped in 2015 um, you've had a nice successful run down in Houston at the club teaching uh, players and, and performance players to get to the next level what what kind of made you think about coaching when you finished playing I love helping people and I thought you know I mean 17 years on tour a lot of those years I was my own coach so I, I think that I have a very good analytical side of the game um, learning how to dissect opponents and I wanted to you know help other players and help you know use my knowledge to, to help not only American tennis but you know any player that's willing to learn and be respectful and you know I love the sport of tennis. As a coach, when you were when you were coming up, is there anything that you remember from any of your coaches that resonate with you now that you use to this day at this level? I mean, my father was my coach growing up for most of my junior career, and you know he's very uh, goal oriented. You know, which I think is great. You know, when you go out there, you know every practice, you know, there's always you always want to get better. So that's what I really make sure that every time you step foot on the court, that there's some part of your game that you're improving. And when you step off the court that day, you know, okay, what did I get better at today? Even if it's just 1%. It's not easy. You've done a great job so far. Thanks so much for the Thanks, time. Man. I appreciate it. Thanks nice watching you out there, man. I love, I tell you, one of my favorite things about pro tennis is unconditional competitors, and you were the quintessential unconditional competitor. So I miss appreciate watching it. you, but it's good to see you out. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks so much, Paul, Mike. Fun. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.